like as a child, like I think I'm, I can honestly reflect and say, I, I, I was a douchebag. <laughs> you know, like I could admit that. But do y'all know what a douchebag is? <laughs> I googled it today. <laughs> It's a, uh, just basically a cleaner of the ins- inner vagina with water and mixed fluids. Yep. <laughs> I think we should stop calling dudes douchebags because it's kind of cool, right? <laughs> yeah, I had behavioral issues. But I was cleaning up that couch, you know? I'm the douchebag, that's what I do. You better Google me. Douchebag, yeah. I'm a jackass. And boy, I sure cleaned that couch. You know? Stop calling me in that. I did this mic this week and I learned something about dudes. Like, dudes. We're terrible dick salesmen. <laughs> I heard it from multiple places. This consistent. It's, you know, like we say you got a bar. I never knew what it was like for ladies. Like if you was at a bar, I thought dudes just whisper sweet nuts to your ear. But this, from this mic, I learned. Dudes just walk up to us, like, hey, you want some dick? <laughs> That's a terrible way to walk through a door. <laughs> I think there's a better way to do it, you know? Like, as dudes, we need to get the speech together, you know? You walk up to that woman, and you say, winter is here. And it's cold out there in these streets. You see these couples? Every couple you see, that's one gone. Do you have a interior space heater in your life? <laughs> It'll keep you warm all through the winter months, you know? You know, we hang out, you know, the temperature goes up, you can get warm ones like hot chocolate, what? Coffee, get you excited, it'll stimulate your spirit. Ain't that a lot better than waking up to them, you want some dick, you know? There's no wiggle room, that's a yes or a no. If you say interior space heater, she's gonna think, I do need some tea, it's cool. Whisper your sweet nuns after that. You know? <laughs> Sir, I see that y'all, we are together. I see, you see the green? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? I see you man over there looking like Joe Nathan. <laughs> cool man. Um, you ever, uh, like, my, my, my taste in women is changing as I'm getting older. Like, when I was younger, I would look at them like art exhibits. You know, I'm like, oh shit, look at that beautiful breast me magnificent butt cheeks. <laughs> the Lord made you perfect, you know? But now I'm older, I look at women, I'm like, I ask the same question. When I look at them, I say, can you hold down a PTA meeting? <laughs> When every teacher in the school knows your badass kids is the menace on campus, you know? Because, like, if you can, that shit turns me on, you know? My balls start tingling, you know? Like, you ever see the, you see them, them beans from the, uh, from Popeyes? The Popeyes uh, cartoon? The little jumping belly? I don't know. Why, 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 why did I choose to start this? <laughs> I didn't practice it. <laughs> I had a thought and like I was overconfident in myself. I said, I'll just figure that shit out on stage. And I just see the look in your eyes, y'all were like, mm, your calculations is off, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. Like, I know when she was going bad and I just like tread water. It's only four minutes. <laughs> um How long y'all been together? Seven years. Yeah, 11 years, that's it right there. Y'all ain't all been together. 11 years. 11 years. Hey, man, that's it, man. I need to find me one of these 11-year relationships, you know? <laughs> Shit. Um, 
I didn't say she liked it. <laughs> if you was waiting for 11 years, she likes something. <laughs> Broadway Joe, man, you got that aura. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shine. Um, does she ever have you smooch on her neck? Is that her thing? <laughs> Hell no! I said the same thing. Did she have this bitch on her neck? Sometimes? No? Maybe? Yeah. See, like, this is the thing. What about y'all? Y'all, she had this bitch on that neck? Not for a long time. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Cause y'all wouldn't like to tell me. I was like, yeah, I love it. It tastes so delicious, you know? You ever, uh, you ever have a girl and she wants you to kiss her neck? And she wearing perfume. And you're like, man, I don't want my breath to smell like skunk. <laughs> you ever wonder, like, why couldn't she just spray a little bit of Hennessy on there, you know? <laughs> I love to taste the cognac from the Champagne region of France. I'll be skunky fresh out here, what? Started off with some really terrible jokes. But these are terrible jokes that I planned. <laughs> Can't have y'all thinking that I don't follow through with my game plan, but we're gonna get down 21 points first before we figure that out. Y'all play football. Y'all know football. That's a bad game. You playing Madden. That's 21 skunk. You off the sticks. Um, a lot going on in here. Uh, that's quite the yawn, my friend. That was right there. I hope I can uh, entertain your spirit, man. I've noticed that you settled down. At first, you were sitting with the chair. Talking. I was like, is he humping the shit out of that chair? But okay, legs crossed. We're conservative now. Oh my God. We'll move along. Um, I got tattooed like when I was 17. And I got in this dude's garage. Because that's the only place I can get tattoos. And I thought about it being. So, hey, dog, I'll get you that tattoo. 40 minutes, $40, I'll do it. I said, oh, shit, I have to get the jackpot. That's a bar. It sounds like a coupon to me. <laughs> you ever get a tattoo? And 30 minutes later, the ink start disappearing? <laughs> That's not good. That means you have made a crucial mistake. <laughs> so I'm scared of tattoos, but I don't even go big time. So, okay, I'm one of them. I'll see how it is. I did all that to tell y'all this, because I feel like you got to talk about yourself before we talk about others. Uh, I see this girl at Whole Foods, and she had one of those back shoulder knee tattoos, and it said, never look back in bold letters, you know? <laughs>
me see it, I was like, ooh. <laughs> Work pants with a shiny shirt, bro. <laughs> make this work <laughs> behind the shadows <laughs> I'm sitting there till I'm telling you I watched daytime I was cool and shit I was like what a good man way there, 
but I assess the crowd before that do that joke. Because if I did that and one of them weed people was in the crowd, they'd be like, weed people gonna see you after this set me stress. <laughs> and I don't need that struggle or stress in my life. Um, are y'all we the people? I can't figure y'all out. Like y'all are tense. Y'all should loosen up y'all shoulders. Y'all have a very inquisitive look, you know? Y'all are looking like black guy, tell me joke, you know? I don't know, I can't oh figure God. it out, you know. Oh y'all like titty meat? <laughs> yes, sir, titty meat. You like the breast meat, the jiggle jiggles, the front pillows, the shaky shakes? I like titty meat, but not in this season. I like it in the summer, because I love titty meat condensation. Y'all know what titty meat condensation is? It's the titty sweats. You know why I like titty sweats? Because that's the teardrops of the heart. The spritzer of the feminine spirit. You have to work to get those juicy drop, drop, drops. Sometimes I see it on a shirt and leave and it leaves a stain, and I'm like, ooh, shit, I sure would like to lick that titty meat conversation. I'm parched. I have a horny spirit, and I thirst for that feminine spirit. Uh, 36 years old. Just a verse for everything. I've never heard a man say, it's too much titty. <laughs> if that's too much titty, you find a way to explore until you retire. You sign up for that overtime shift. Like an like air on a leaf. You just explore and get all the fun there. Figure it out, man. I don't care. Small titty, big titty, round titty, bouncy titty. <laughs> There's enough titty for all that, man. You gotta get in there. That's like somebody give you a free ticket to Disneyland. You gonna explore all the rides until closing time and the fireworks go off. But sometimes I I go by the yoga places and I see a shirt that's all soaked in juicy titty, titty sweat, and I'm like, she's self. She need to share that. No. I can use the sodium, such a tasty treat, hydrate my sad spirit, but sometimes I go home, I close the door, it's just me, I pop open that laptop, I go to YouTube.com, and I watch videos of hippos eating watermelon. It's quite the uplifting video. They're like, boom! Oh! And they open their mouth, they put a watermelon, you hear that crunch, see all that juice fall out. They only get like 20% of the watermelon, but it's not that crunch. I feel like that's a happy ass hippo. He missed it all, but you know, such a juicy treat. Watermelon juice is probably like titty meat sweat, right? We all have the juice that we seek. Well, what's y'all beverage of choice? When well, y'all like alcoholic beverages, what y'all like to drink, you know? Water, who said water? You missed, you, you missed the key word of alcohol. Get it stout. Get it stout, all right? This much. This much, okay. Yeah, that's like seven and seven, that's great. Yeah, seven and seven. Y'all yeah. like those white claws? Nah, the seltzers? I, I like those white claws, but I think a lot of people that drink the white claws, they don't know like the battles and the struggles that people used to do so we can get these delicious beverages. Because there used to be this drink. It's called Bartley and James. They were wine coolers. They had delicious flavors, exotic dairy, mango madness, juicy tangerine. You know, and this is when your alcohol choice was just hard liquor or beer. And I used to drink these. And I was at this party, and like, you ever see a girl at a party? You're like, man, I don't talk to her. And like, every week that go by, you don't talk to her. And I drank three of them, Barkley and James. I was like, tonight's the night. I make it happen. But I was three deep in that exotic berry. And then some dudes walked into the party, and it was like, who up in here drinking these fruity ass drinks? <laughs> I had three bottles on the counter, I slide it back. Oh, I see you, that's you. That's you out here drinking these wine coolers. 
And I went home. Oh. No number, no peaches for me that day. So when I see people drinking white claws, I feel like my sacrifice has been greatly appreciated. I have changed the alcohol industry. I can see people drinking them watermelon claws. I'm like, you don't know what we used to go through. So you can have this delicious treat, you know? Like, why can't I have some alcohol and have it be delicious? Like, I don't want to taste barley and rice. I want to taste apple, orange, tangerine, and my favorite, watermelon. So I can feel like them hippos that be eating watermelons on YouTube. I'll be like, ooh, every taste I'm like, mm. I only drink 20% of the can. <laughs> But it's like ladies night, you know what I mean? You got men in suits. You missed your opportunity. The accountant has gone. <laughs> and how do I know he was the accountant? He was the one with the glasses. Right there he left. He was going to add up the numbers. He said, hey, 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 these numbers ain't right. I must depart. <laughs> you motherfuckers better get to work tomorrow. <laughs> y'all can tell about my jokes, but I've been in community college. <laughs> For the past 15 years. And I ain't talking about I come and I go. I, I've been there back to 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 back. <laughs> so at this point in life, like it's no longer a phase. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. I love it. And I've been to them all. SZZ, MLZ, CRZ, NRZ. Like, I know it so much. Like, it's just three letters, but I can I can turn it to a rap song. What? <laughs> Call me Little Los Rios. It's hard, you know. Study the birds around town. <laughs> Y'all know what a, a, a magpie bird is? Y'all know? This is a beautiful bird. I call it the Junior Toucan, you know? It's three tones, black, white, teal, with a yellow beak, you know? I thought it was a sexy bird. You know, I used to think they was like Puerto Rican. <laughs> Two magpies though it just changes the dream, you know? Like I seen two magpies chewing down on a roadkill skunk. You know what that did to me? It crushed my spirit. Cause you know what that looked like to me? It looked like the weather girl going down on a homeless man. <laughs> you can never look at them the same. <laughs> I watched the news today. 
I watched the news yesterday, and I watched the news the day before. It's confirmed. It's gonna be a lot of raindrops tomorrow. <laughs> you ain't never seen raindrops on your window as they just trickle down, doesn't it? Provide you with a little bit of joy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. At first I seen that lightning. I was like, please don't rain. I'm trying to get on stage. But from y'all reaction, I sure wish it was raining. <laughs> and at least it'll be a quick set. <laughs> Count down the minute. I was like, oh shit, I'm going to go to him. I still ain't got the minute light. <laughs> we had a, we had first rain this week. Y'all like the rain? Yeah. <laughs> shit, we finally got some damn water. But like, I don't know where it came from. Cause like last week we didn't have no rain. Sunday was sunny and all of a sudden Monday we had rain, you know? And, and in my mind I like, who did that shit, you know? Cause I think Sunday night there's probably some kid at home closed his door like, you know what? You know I have PE tomorrow. <laughs> And it's that mild test. <laughs> and you know I can't make eight minutes. <laughs> if you could please, I know it's been a while, if you could please sprinkle down some heavy raindrops. <laughs> it will definitely be appreciated. Now, I have to run that mile next week, and I won't make it. But that's seven days of peace. <laughs> Dudes look forward to rain though, you know, because this dude's is like, every dude got like one girl is like, you know, man, this girl told me the first time it rained, we can have a snuggle party and watch movies, you know. <laughs> then it rain, baby. Y'all see rain in the forecast. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Please let it rain. <laughs> I make observations. Like, do you have some storms? <laughs> <laughs> We did, right? Yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of trees dropped, right? That's sad, man. That's yeah. so sad. That's like Mother Nature crying, like, oh, I broke my ribs. <laughs> <laughs> but it sure ain't bad for everybody, you know? Like them squirrels, if I was a oh squirrel, I'd be living a dream. Oh. If I was a squirrel, if I was a squirrel, I'd be looking for the ladies' girls like, hey, 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 hey. You want to come kick it at the McMansion? Got all these acorns and nuts stored up. Just trying to see what's up with it. You see, like, these are... Immature jokes. <laughs> but I've learned how to formulate it to like an adult. It's like not like, you know, like child jokes. Like, I'll put out my dick, you know. It's like, <laughs> I can formulate it into stories and words, you know. Words like douchebag, you know. We've explored that. <laughs> <laughs> I got 30 seconds to tickle your spirit. <laughs> There's no guarantee you'll get there. <laughs> I told you I was going to try and find it. I was filling it out. The words didn't get to me, so I wrote the silence. <laughs> Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all.